I really like this. It's 10 bucks. Oh, well, these wall sconces are cute. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl, Miss Philly. We went thrifting today alone again. <laughs> we are still there. We're still in our, I want to be alone kind of thing. Um, so we did what go thrifting. I hit up a few thrift stores, um, kind of overpaid for a few things, but still decided to get it. I just wanted, you know, risking it, I guess. So, but anyway, I'll explain more when we, um, uh, show things. Um, okay. So these are the two things that I bought first. What do you guys think? I thought it was kind of interesting. Apparently these are like Celtic knots, I think is what they call it. I'm not sure, but that's what Daniel said they were. I don't know. I feel like it's modern. Is it? I don't know. I do not know. And for like 10 bucks, I thought it was worth it. Um, it's a glass, I think. And I got two of them. So we got a green one and I think it's an orange one. I'm probably going to resell these. I probably will resell them for like locally, maybe like 20 to $25 each. I think I used my points for these. I think. Hold on. I ended up paying a dollar and two cents for this, for these two things, and this other thing I'm going to show you guys. Now, this is definitely mid-century modern. I think it's like I don't know. What do you put in here? I feel like you, I feel like it's like an entryway glass piece where you put like candies or you put like your keys or things like that. I love it. It's like orange. I think. Um, it's really cool. Anyway, it was ten, uh, nine dollars, but we paid a dollar and two cents for like these three things. So that was cool. I'll definitely make money on these regardless. If I don't count the value of my points. <laughs> um, and then we picked up some bags. These are a little bit expensive, but I decided to risk it. Um, I love this bag because it is just really well made and in such good condition, albeit it is missing the crossbody strap. So I'm going to have to wait on this, selling this until I find a crossbody strap. But this bag was uh, 44.79, 44.79. And I feel like because it's all leather and just the style, if I can find a matching crossbody strap, we can easily get like $60 for this. Wait a minute, 44. So I'm literally making $16 on this. Wow. I should have thought about that before I bought it. Anyway, we bought it regardless. Um, but it's all leather. Maybe even get more. Maybe I'll try and push for 70 just because it is in like brand new condition. I just literally need to match it with a black um, strap with, uh, I guess, I don't know, gold hardware brushed gold hardware this bag is from 2013 so and it has like smooth leather and then with a snake embossment there this bag we kind of have paid a lot for but it is brand new and it reminds me of like the dior or like the louis vuitton on the go or the dior book bag um this was what we pay for this? I used points for this too. It's just expensive. It was um seventy dollars for this, guys. That's like literally Kate Spade outlet prices. Well, maybe not. Well, maybe yeah. Um, I used forty nine hundred dollars in points. Yeah. So that was forty forty nine dollars I used in points. I still have like. $147 in points. Um, but this should have been uh, sorry, it's hard for me to calculate. I'm so bad. So $70 less 20%. Well, no, actually, I didn't even use a 20% off because you can't. Anyway, I ended up paying out of pocket $23.51. Now that sounds like a deal <laughs> for this. Um, it's brand new with tags. That's why I bought it. They took the price tag off, obviously, but I can't even tell like what model this is. But it's cute. It's like a book bag, um, zip top. It has the tag with it. So 
I'll probably try and sell this for like 60 to 70 on its own. I love that it has like the, I'm, I'm glad that it has the leather trim because at least that makes it a little bit higher, more desirable. And it has like the little hang tag there and that print there and then full leather bottom, which is nice. Yeah, so um, the last thing that we got and Daniel's probably <laughs> not gonna like me, but um, I got this. I feel like this is something because it is a Blue Bomber t-shirt vintage um size it looks like an xl it was only six dollars but it's an all over print and from my understanding vintage 90s single stitch all over print all desirable so it has like that front there and in the back there and it's dated 1992 so right there 1992 and um and the back says dunnigan or dunigan Anyway, this is our uh, local football team, the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. So uh, I'll look it up, what it's worth, and or I might just keep it for myself. You know, I feel like one day I'm going to be skinny and hot. I'm going to go to football games and hockey games. And I'll need like a nice, cool vintage shirt. The guys are going to be like, hey, I love your shirt. I'm like, thank you. And it might open up, you know, a possibility to marriage or at least meeting someone and then marry them, you know. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, thank you to everybody uh for watching and for messaging i appreciate it and i hope you guys are doing well and um yeah it's a decent start to the week so oh my bag of the day is this louis vuitton pochette accessories i attach the chain for a little bit of oomph you know so this is from the, what bag is this from? I think this is from my Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse East West. I think this is from. And I just have like the lock hanging there. It, this is like a very, I love this bag. It is such a good bag for every day. No fuss, no muss. You literally just open it and everything is there. So. This isn't the original strap that came with it. I can't remember what strap I got this from. But I don't even think, I think the pochette accessories only comes with like the short strap. So, but it's nice. Like you can even formal it up with just like a chain or a shorter chain. But yeah. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like it. Let me know what items I thrifted is your favorite. And I don't think I have a favorite. I think if I were to choose, my favorite would be like that dish, glass dish thing. <laughs> um but yeah thank you to all my new subscribers who subscribed i really appreciate it if you are not subscribed please do so i am a thrifting channel a reselling channel a buy used channel and an everyday life kind of channel of other things that i mix in there um, about my life and i hope that it's of interest to you and um i love you guys bye